Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is our second counting and clapping lesson for week six. All right, this week we're going to take the eighth note and place that on the music counting line. All right, and then we're going to count and clap it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, last week was the second easiest one to count and clap. This one is the easiest one to count and clap. But it's a little more challenging to figure out how to put it on the number line, which is why I saved it for a second. All right? So first thing we have to do is we have to review the note that we're working with. And that's this note right here. Notice how it has a note head and a stem and a flag. And only one type of note has a flag. What's the name of that note? It's an eighth note. That is correct. All right? And how many beats does an eighth note get in 4-4 four, four time? All right? Real simple. It's right up here. It gets one half of a beat. And listen, one half is smaller than a whole. This is a half and that's a whole, right? So when we add one and one, we get two. But when we add one and one half, we get one and a half, not two. You need to remember that, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead and start by putting all these, by filling up our number line just with eighth notes so you can see what they would look like, all right? So, the first thing we do is we have to start with what number? What number do we always start with when we start counting? Number, number one, that is correct, all right? So we put our note head up here. Got our note head right up here on the one. Give it a stem. And then put a flag on it, right? Now, that is an eighth note. And how many beats does an eighth note take? take up it takes up only half a beat so what is where are we going to write the next note well it's real easy we take beat one hold that in his finger and then we add however long this note is which is half of a beat and what is that answer it's not two it is one and a half so there's one and this tay is the half so guess what that's where we write our next eighth note. Not on the two, but on the te, because it only takes up half of a beat. Great, so now let's put that flag there. There we go. So it's one, and then that's on te. Nice and easy. Now, going from this te, we need to figure out where we're gonna write our next note. It's gonna be an eighth note, and eighth notes take how much of a beat? One half of a beat. So if I have one, and I have a half, because we're right here. I'm going to add half of a beat. And half of a beat will take me to what? To number two. That is correct. Great. So we go to number two. We write our note head. Give it a stem. And give it a flag. Nice and easy. Now, we're on two. And we're going to add, go to the next note. Now remember, this is an eighth note. How many beats does it take up? Takes up half of a beat, not a whole beat, right? So if I, we take two and add a half to it, what do we get? Two and a half. So this tay shows us what two and a half is. So we put our note head right here. All right, give it a stem and give it a flag. All right, great. Two and a half plus a half, right? Equals what? Three. Great, so our next note goes on three. And you see this pattern. Where's our next note gonna go? Not on four, but on the te of three. So it is three and a half, all right? Now, where's the next one go? Four, all right? Once again, this eighth note takes up half a beat. So we have to go one more. We haven't filled it all these up yet. What's next? The te. All right? Great. Now, as I said, counting and clapping is an absolute cinch using this. So let's take a look and see what we got here. Take a look at this one. Does it have a note above it? Yes. So do we clap there? Yeah, we go one. Take a look at this te. Does it have a note above it? Yes, it does. So when we say te, we say te. One says two. Does it have a note above it? Yes. So what do we do? We clap there. Two. Take a look at this te. Does it have a note above it? Yes, it does. So guess what? We clap there. We say te. Now, 
when it says three, right? Does it have a note above it? Yes, it does. So we caught that. Three. Does this day have a note above it? Yes, it does. So we caught that. Hey, does this four have a note above it? Yes, it does. So do we clap there? Yes, we do. Four. All right? It looks like that. Four. And this last tay, does it have a note above it? Yes, it does. So we clap there. Tay. Matter of fact, we clap on everything. It's the easiest one to do. It sounds like this. One, tay, two, tay, three, tay, four, tay. Nice and easy. Okay? So all we do is read the number and check to see if it has a note above it. Then say the number and clap if it has a note. If it doesn't have a note, we just say the number. All right? But as you can see in this one, every one of them has a note. It's the easiest one to count and clap. As soon as you say something, you count and clap. None of them will be this easy the rest of the year. All right? But this one is pretty simple. Okay? Because it's just count the eighth notes with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight eighth notes. And that's why they're called eighth notes. It takes a full four measure and divides it into eight even equal parts. All right. So count and clap with me one time, then count and clap without me, and we'll be finished with this one for this week. Here we go. Ready? Go. One. K. Two. K. Three. K. Four. K. And now there's no more music, so we stop. All right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's your turn to do it without me. All right? So if you need to practice this and listen to this a couple times so you can get it right every time, go ahead and do that. But if you can get it right this first time, then you'll probably be pretty good to go until next week. All right? So let's take a look at this, starting with number one. All right? You, uh, I will count with you, but you're going to have to count and clap by yourself. Here we go. Ready? Go. One. Te, two, te, three, te, four, te. All right, if you got that correct, then congratulations, you're done for this week. If you haven't gotten it correct, then go ahead and try it one more time, all right? Or maybe two more times, listen to the whole thing, do it until you can get it right, okay? This one is gonna be the easiest one. And everything that we're going to do is going to build from off of this from now on. All right? All right. Good luck. And I hope you enjoy your uh, song and your dance for this week. Take care. Goodbye.